Hello, time for lesson 12.3. 12.3 is about sorting things into big things and little things. So we're just gonna use some shapes that I cut out again today. Um, but there are, I mean, this is still, this is one of my big shapes and it's still pretty little. But like, what about if I used a, a chair and this same shape, then what's gonna be bigger? The chair is going to be bigger, right? Because it's huge. I can sit on it. If I sat on this, I'd crush it. So um, when we're talking about big things and little things, we're just going to use big and little things that fit on our paper. Um, but you guys know that big things are usually much bigger than just this one little blue square, right? Even my cup here. My cup is much bigger than this square. And my cup, I can lift with one hand. It's pretty easy. It's pretty light. Um, it's still not very big. So um, let's get working on our uh, big and little page. So while I'm switching cameras, go ahead and start writing your first and last name at the top of lesson 12.3. Down a little bit. Okay. And then we have the word b -i -g big and mm, and then if I cover this up it's the word all so mm, all small we have big and small and I have a bunch of shapes and let's see if I can group them into the big on this side and the small on this side well this triangle looks pretty small and compared to those little triangles this is a pretty big rectangle and this looks like kind of a big triangle. Look, I've got a lot of little greens today. Um, this looks like a big circle and this is probably like a big square. At least we can get some other color on this other side, but these are all much smaller than this shape. Um, this square, look, is a lot smaller than that square. We'll put that here. Here's a little circle. And look, this circle could fit inside of that circle, so it's small. Put it up here. Hmm, I have a little red rectangle here. There we go. I sorted some big things on this side and some little things on this side. All the shapes are different and all the colors are different, but they, the thing that they have in common, the things that's the same, is that they're bigger shapes than the ones on this side. These shapes are all pretty tiny, especially the little tiny blue one. <laughs> okay. So let's flip to the inside and see if we can do it again. Okay. Oops. All right. So just like yesterday, I am going to put the shapes up here because I have them and you guys can draw lines. Here's a triangle and a circle and a square, a rectangle, another rectangle, a triangle, and a rectangle. All right. Okay. So to me, these ones are much less obvious, which are big and which are little. But to me, I think the smallest ones are this, these two triangles or rectangles. They look pretty small. Those are pretty small. And especially compared to this triangle or, or rectangle, I'm sorry. If I put this one next to it, this one is bigger. So I'm going to move this one to the big side. Okay. And I think this square is pretty big compared to these guys over here too. So I think I'm gonna put it over here, big. And my triangles, well, my triangles aren't cut perfectly to the shape of that are here. So let's look at these two. Which one is bigger? They're pretty close, but I think the red one is big and the green one is small. So we're gonna do that, okay? And the last shape I have here is a circle. You think we should put it big or, or big or little, big or small? Mm, I'm thinking it's kind of small. Look, it fits inside of the square and the 
triangle is bigger than it too, and the rectangle is bigger. So I think I'm going to put this circle over here with the smalls. It's kind of tricky to know. Okay, but we've sorted them. Let's decide again with the arrows, okay? So we put the green triangle here. We put this red rectangle here. We put the blue circle here for small. We put the red triangle here for big. We did a big yellow square. We did a big blue rectangle. And we did a small red rectangle. There we go. It's kind of confusing, but at least you can show that you sorted them. Okay. So now on this page, we need to remember which one had, which group had three and which group had four. So let's count them. The small, small side had one, two, three, four. So, and the big side had one, two, three. So big was the one with three. So let's put a big X inside the big. And there was three of them. And then there was four in the small. Four smalls, three bigs. All righty. On the back, we have a little bit of a review here. So let's look at this group. I see that there's a triangle and a square and a rectangle, so they're not grouping by, um, by shape. I see that they all are kind of the same size, so I don't think they're grouping by big and little, but they're also all one, two, three of them are yellow. So which one of these shapes over here belongs in the group of yellows? This yellow circle. That yellow circle belongs with this group. If we put this green circle over here, that wouldn't match. That doesn't go in that group. And this blue one also doesn't go in this group because it's not yellow. Okay, now we need to do the opposite. We have this triangle and we need to decide whether to put it in this group or put it in this group. This group, none of them have red, so they're not sorting by color. This has big and little, so, and this is big and little, so I don't think that it's sorting by size. I think it's sorting by shape. So these are all rectangles with four sides, and these are all triangles with three sides. So which group do you think it would go with. I think this three-sided triangle needs to go with more three-sided triangles. So I'm gonna put a big X on this one. That's the one it needs to go in. Okay, last one. So we need to find which one thing looks a little bit different than the rest. This is hard to tell, but I think maybe they're grouping by size because this is a pretty big square, and this is a pretty big rectangle, this is a pretty big triangle, but this little circle over here looks too small maybe to go with the rest of the group. So another way we could decide which, um, which one might not be the correct one is this has straight sides, this has straight sides, this has straight sides, but this one has no straight sides, just a curve. So I think this one, whether you're counting by how big things are or if you're going by whether it has straight sides or not, that one doesn't go with the rest of the group. That one is different. It belongs in a group of curves or it belongs in a group of small shapes or it belongs in a group of yellows, but I don't think it goes with these other ones. That one is the one that's different. Okie dokie. Good work today sorting big and little, big and little things. Um, I want you to kind of notice things around your house today. See if you can find things that are big and things that are little. You don't have to put them on your paper, but I want you to remember that we can group things by big things together and little things together. Like if I had a big group of crayons, I could put all the crayons that are whole and big and not broken, I could put those in one group, and then I could put all my little broken pieces of crayons in a different group. So you can be organizing all kinds of things by big and little. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. Good work, keep it up. I'll see you guys tomorrow.